In the previous video, we created a scrollable home page and a tap interaction into the product detail. Let's get into the bottom sheet overlays and simple drag interactions. We've already placed all the elements on the bottom sheet, so now we'll connect them. From this link on the product detail, I want to tap on it to show the bottom sheet. This bottom sheet shows additional information about how the materials are being sourced ethically. I've designed it as a bottom sheet that someone can tap into if they're interested in learning more. The bottom sheet has both horizontal and vertical scrolling to show more information in a small space. Let's start hooking up this prototype. I'll add a rectangle over the blue text by typing the letter R on the keyboard. Next, let's remove the fill by selecting the rectangle shape and on the right hand panel, turning the fill to zero or removing it with the minus size. With the rectangle selected, go to the prototype panel and connect the rectangle to the small bottom sheet with the connector. In the contextual menu, we want to select the property of Open Overlay and select Move In. Select the last icon of the arrow pointing up. In the Overlay Settings area, select the bottom center choice, which also maps to the last icon. You'll want to select the two options for close when clicking outside and add background. These settings show you where the bottom sheet will appear and the behavior for clearing the bottom sheet if the user taps outside of it. The background refers to the dimming effect that will cover the screen when the bottom sheet has been triggered. Let's see what that looks like. You can see that it comes up from the bottom and when I tap into the background, the bottom sheet goes back down. That's what we want. Next, let's get that first set of images in the bottom sheet to horizontally scroll. We did a vertical scroll in the last video, so we're familiar with that concept, but now we can set the set of images labeled H scroll to a horizontal scroll by selecting the image group and setting the overflow to horizontal. Let's apply that same horizontal effect to the other bottom sheet as well. Let's preview that, and this looks like it's working as expected. Next, let's add the drag interaction from the top handle of the bottom sheet. We'll select the top handle and from the prototype section, connect the top handle to the taller bottom sheet. We'll change the interaction to drag and we'll select Swap Overlay and Smart Animate. We'll apply the same settings to the taller bottom sheet, connecting it back to the smaller bottom sheet. On the bottom sheet's tall frame, We'll set the content to scroll vertically. And let's test out our prototype. Okay, we were able to connect the bottom sheet to the product detail and learned how to use a drag interaction with scrolling. In the next video, let's dive into using interactive components for prototyping.